Hey guys, it's Epic Underworlds, and today I'm be showing you a deck profile for a Wrath of Course 2 deck I made called the Knights of the Ring. And um, I think this is a very solid deck. It has two Royal Rares. Um, overall, it's a 33 card deck and a very good deck for Wrath of Course 2. I play te tested this specific deck. I don't have a battle video to sh really show it, um, just because me and my cousins didn't film every battle. Um, but this deck has won quite a few games, and I think it's going to be really good in the competitive scene. So, of course, you got the Knight Core. Um, this is a pure white deck, of course, um, because it only can be a pure white deck. Um, so it does have this core. Um, if they ever get a better core for white, I might switch this out. But for now, um, that is what it is. So that is the core. And then uh, you get a full play set of Trainee Soldier. And Trainee so Soldier might be, like, really weak to you. But this is so overpowered. So, um, well, not overpowered, but really good. Um, so when I was playing against my cousin, I played all three of these because I had a full play set. And um, once I, he doesn't really like to play with defensive units, so he, he I think he did play one and I got rid of it um, with um, another card. And then I played these three guys and I attacked directly with all three of them and gained three points, did it again the next turn. So really good at gaining points. Um, their abilities are decent, I guess. Um, and it says if your unit rolls up, if any other units roll a five or six during battle, this turn this unit gains one attack for the turn. Um, max of three so if these guys would roll a five five he would gain two attacks so he would be a three not the best ability but it is a one cost so um pretty good um and they can counter attack so that's like um the cheap cards in your deck that i really love to play so really very solid there and we have a play set of foot soldiers uh nothing too special about these guys just a step up from these guys being a two cost um, so, again, nothing much about them other than they can do some pretty good damage directly. Next, we do another step up with Roaming Knight. These are a 4-4. Four, four. Um, pretty strong for a 3 cost. Um, the only disadvantage is they only hit on 3 pluses, but they can counterattack, so that is very strong. And yeah, definitely going to need these in your deck. Um, next, I only have 2 Heavy Warriors just because I'm saving room for the other high cost cards in the deck. Um, but these are pretty strong dudes that will um, absorb quite a few hits from the little, like, witch decks if you play against those. Next, we have a play sets of recruit, uh, sorry, recruitment, and they're only one cost, and they're amazing. Basically, um, the next unit you play um, this turn costs two less charges to pay, so you basically get an extra charge for pretty much free. Um, so extremely good card, and although it might not seem like much, um, can you can play so many like good cards with that then one of my personal favorites warfront expedite very good card um i think it's it's pretty much like this except way better and it's only a zero cost um you look at the top three cards of your deck and put them in back in any order um leaving the top card revealed if it's a unit you may reduce its cost by one and play it if possible so like let's say you have well, this would be unlikely but let's say you had three of these guys um, you would put them in any order um, on your deck, place, put the top one, and you would pay it for one less cost. So you would pay that for free. Super good to get out cheap cost cards um, and easy plays. So very good card for War from Expedite. Next, we got three Caltrops. And these are just really good for canceling, like, let's say King Rainus was attacking. You would play this and can cancel the attack. And it's only two costs, so pretty good. So you might be wondering, well, how do you pay for all these... Um, well, for the future uh, expensive cards. Well, this is where Thunderous Elemental comes in handy. Now, Thunderous Elemental is my, literally my favorite card in the game. Um, I just love how whenever you kill a unit, you get to charge your core once. So basically, um, you pay five, but you're really only paying like three, because if you kill a unit, you gain two more charges. So I think it's an extremely good card, and it hits on a two plus. And not to mention a six attack and four defense. Next, you get a play set of... We actually get some defensive units. Fort in the Clouds, I think it's a good cost for um, a defensive card. And your assault units that are reinforced gain one health. Also really good. Um, very essential cards. I was thinking of putting the defensive card that um, goes goes with garrisons, but I decided not to. Then we get one copy of Trapdoor Explosives. When this unit dies in battle, roll a die. Deal damage to the, at deal damage to the attacking unit equal to the number of that die. So um, this has paid off for me quite a bit in gameplay. Um, like, let's say a sneaky little, um, this guy attacked. 
um, you would roll this, let's say it rolled a six, it would kill him, or four, or higher, it would kill him. So, extremely good card. I wish I had more copies of him, because I probably would have put more in my deck, but I only had one copy. Next, we have two Lightning Strikes. Now, I purposely put two, because I think three might be eh, iffy, um, but deal two damage to any unit in play, really solid, stable card. You definitely need these in every deck that has light. Um, next, you have Field Medic, one of the best reinforcement cards for the knights in my opinion um the reinforced unit gains one health so that alone is really good and whenever the enemy unit hits whenever the enemy unit hits the reinforced unit you may divide its damage between this unit also so like let's say you had um thunderous elemental and rainus attack them or maybe not rainus but someone attacked him with five damage he only has four so it would kill him but you could divide it into him too so it would cancel the attack pretty much so, um, very powerful there. Next, we get into the last two cards, King Rainus and Salazar Golden Angel. You can have you can only have two Royal Rares with different names in a deck, so I chose these two, specifically because they're pretty much the only light Royal Rares I have, and Rainus is such a good card, and Salazar Golden Angel lets you uh, replenish your health, um, so very good for late game. And yeah, they can both counterattack. Rainus never misses, and Salazar only misses on a 1. So yeah, um, very good cards, and yeah, that ends up the deck. So this was the um, my little night deck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys like these deck profiles, because I will definitely make more if you want. But yeah, see you in the next video.